almost. Riley is currently doing some uh, ho quick house maintenance before we delve back into heaven on high. Uh, for all those people who are here from Baron Strain, I hope things went really well for you. Apparently you came in with uh, a pretty nice number all going to Second Harvest Food Bank, so that is awesome. Second Harvest is a really good uh, charity to give to. And right now, let's be honest, this day and age, it is needed now more than ever. So thank you from all of us to all you who donated. And even if you just thought about donating, that is awesome. So I'm just sitting here apparently talking to myself, which is per typical. <laughs> Talking to. I don't know. Actually, you're talking to Rift, aren't you? Yeah, Rift says hi. Except she's he's trying to mother hen you. Ain't that right, Rift? In your new ish guardian half barding. So happy we were able to get that. Yeah. Oh, but that was kind of a butt. <laughs> and we're gonna have to do it again so action and uh, maybe Tay gets theirs too. Good to know, Cold Silver. Yeah, I can't really see what he's doing because if I tried to load it up on the system while I've got all this going, um, yeah, it, it, it's no good. My system just kind of goes, eh. No. Just no. <laughs> but that's okay. My system is not the best system in the world, but it is not the worst system in the world either. It's just good hey, enough. Hey, what do you know? Hmm? I gotta notice that uh, that uh, Smudge Dragon is streaming. Let's Ooh. go watch. <laughs> According to Cold, the uh, Baron stream is just about ending, so hopefully we'll get some views uh, coming in after that concludes. And... Okay, the... Back door is closed. The stream yes. is showing. We have nice Italian sodas here to sip on. Are you ready to start heaven on high again? Hold on a moment. This calls for a drink. <laughs> well, here's a question. Do okay. We, do we want to shift up classes or stay as we are? I think stay as we are. It's a good combo, and I don't know that we can come up with a better combo. <coughs> okay, that's fair. Uh, do you want to start up off so we can keep an eye on what you're doing as well? Oh, yeah, I knew there was something I hadn't gotten to. <sighs> hey, Foxfire! Hello, Foxfire! It's good to see you here! We're just now kind of getting going. Uh, apparently, Baron Stream ran a little behind, but that is okay. Probably a sign of a successful uh, fundraiser. Yes, yes. Yes, it okay. was. Uh, Foxfire, do you know what the final tally was? That'd be awesome to hear. Okay, you ready to go, Rylea? Maybe. What's it to you? Oh, no. No, I'm not ready. Oh, you haven't cleared your slot. I guess I did last week. It's in, in currently empty. Yeah, last I heard the total was in, the, like, the 4,000 range? Yeah. Well... Here we go, back at Fixed Party. Yes, we really want to go in as a two-man. Floor 21. Oh no, we have no Pomodors. How did this happen? 
Oh, right, we died. <laughs> I think you dropped them all. You were complaining about your inventory and suddenly all the pomodorners uh, disappeared. Oh, this is gonna go all tonight. I can just feel it in my bones. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful, by the way. It was hard to tell from inside it. Let's see if I can blow them up. No. Hi, Ripley! This is the exit, by the way. This isn't, by the way. 4,330, that is awesome. Oh, I might have to use some of my defenses. I might have to use a potion. Oh dear, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> That is a good question. I'm okay. We got this. He's alright. Let's change my camera angle. And exit is open. You need any help there? Not at the moment. Even though the Anibis had a uh, look-away mechanic, they've never lived long enough for, uh, for it before. Yes, yes, they actually have a look-up mechanic. Oh, I'll just kill this guy out of sheer spite. Come here! Is it the Lord of Spite? Oh gosh, I hope not. Yeah, we're going to have to catch up. I don't know how many, um... Really? Really. How many episodes there's been uh, since last we looked and the Lord of Fight effort? Uh, in case people don't know, um, Riley is referencing an ongoing GURPS fantasy campaign that one of the major villains roaming around the halls of this mega dungeon, the players have named the Lord of Spite. Yeah, it's obviously some sort of really, really tough, like, demon thing. Um, oh dear, two wheels. And, you know, um, he's got... Uh, he's basically playing because, you know, you first start knowing he's in the area from this... Because he just can't really walk straight. Um, the... The, uh, blog all of this is on is called Dungeon Fantastic. Um, he does a few different things. His main thing is a GURPS Fantasy Mega Dungeon. And um, it's a very Monty Hall dungeon. Well, uh, not so much Monty Hall, because, boy, can they, um come home with nothing to show for it often enough. But it is a mega dungeon. There's about four-ish levels I think they've been through a lot of, and there's like several sub-levels to it. Um, and there's, you know, different regions where different things are and different things happen. I first now, I'd been aware of the blog for a little bit and was kind of following the adventures a little bit. Uh-oh. Yeah, not with a wheel coming in. <laughs> Good job! Thank you! You're welcome, I think. Which way does he go? And the first one that really got me kind of following it more kind of steadily was uh, the party got into this, this area. They'd been dealing with all these kind of odd lizard men for a while. Uh, kind of a, lo a longer jaw than normal. Bye-bye! So bye! bye. <laughs> I like it when we do that. And they finally found this one really large chamber. Um, 
you know, just huge. That um, it was obviously kind of the center of where these strange lizard men were. And they start kind of poking in, and they get into a fight with the lizard men, and, and they're slowly kind of advancing in, into the room, getting a better look at it. And they see that um, kind of out of their initial line of sight, there's this really huge um, kind of demon-looking idol with these big ruby gemstones for its eyes and this big uh, flaming cauldron in front of it. And one of the guys is just, I mean, kind of like the you know, what's on the cover of the original player's handbook. Yes, yes, exactly like that. And he pulls out a copy and basically sets it up at the side of the map as a reference to, and here's the idol, and this is about how big it is. Ow. You didn't nice get the job. chest over there. I got Garuda. He's working on it. So, yeah, that entire little section of the dungeon was an homage to Trampier's original Player's Handbook cover. Including the Lizard Men, which do have kind of a longer jaw on his cover than uh, most usual Lizard Men designs you see. We can bail if we want. Um, I think we want. Though at some point I could really do with a uh, new phoenix down. Oh, I got a new phoenix down. Never mind. Oh, then. Scratch that off the shopping list. <laughs> uh, I do not like running this place without a phoenix down handy. And they've had, you know, plenty of other... Uh-oh. Auto-heal disabled. Blag, blag, blag. <laughs> had some other fun incidents, like uh, the Total Party Teleport. Oh, the Total Party Teleport, which almost ended up in a Total Party Wipe? Yes. And the thing is, is the, the GM, who is the one who runs the blog, was just kind of staring at them and going, Why? Because they'd found this room with, like, this big mural in it and everything. And I forget exactly what it has in it, but they found out that it would teleport you. Uh, apparently up to the surface, because that's where they ended up. So, you know, it's about two levels down. It takes you straight to the surface. And, oh, there's like, a blue chest in the other corner. Oh, yes. Let me get that wheel. Thank you. So, like, two sessions later, they're, and they've, you know, gone in, done a little exploring, killed a few things, gotten some loot. They're on their way out by a known safe route when suddenly they get the bright idea to go turn around, go out of their way by a couple of, uh, by a little bit, Ooh, did and go use the teleport armor. I'll go check for the chest. Uh, look out, you have a creepy. Yeah, I saw him out the corner of the, my eye. Keep in mind, we have no auto heal. Yeah, you gonna be okay? Perfectly fine. You are a bad Druva. You were not in your room like you should be. So yeah, they go out of their way to go back to the mural room and use the teleporter under the assumption that it always goes to the same place. It doesn't. They ended up in a place they'd never been to before. Um, about, like, 20 feet above water. 
no one took swimming. Uh, I think a few people had it as something better than default, but just barely. And of course, no one was prepared for it, and you have, I think, I'm not sure if Vrace was along for that one, but, you know, you did have a fighter or two in heavy armor. And this was also the point where they'd gotten the band of goblins and their camp followers. So they had like about a dozen goblins following them around as kind of helpers out. None of those made it out of there. Uh, many of them drowned. The rest of them were eaten by carnivorous, carnivorous, carnivorous fish in the pool. I.e. piranha. Uh, blue chest. Dang it, I looked over there. You need to get your eyes checked, kitten. Two creepies. Yeah, need to take those one at a time, though. Actually, yes. I should probably take two. Ah! Mimic! Can you take two of them and a mimic at the same time? No, no, no. Uh, moved on. Open chain, but going out. So, yeah, they had... Most of the party died to various things on what was eventually determined to be about level 4. It dropped a blue, but I want to take Mr. Yes, we get the Minriki first. Oh gosh! Really? 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 There's two of oh. them! No! Three! Move back, Sway. Cut the corner. Yeah, there's three of them. Oh, jeez! <laughs> yeah, you're saying there's two of them, and I'm, go I'm going, that doesn't look right. I'm going to pull the rear end one. You do this. And pull it back into the hallway. You do this. I'm behind you all the way. Wow. Yeah, yeah I'm going to let those other two pat on. Yeah, the fun aftermath of just about everyone dying in the big cavern lake was, you know, they about half of everything went at once. Yeah, let's get out of here before they come back. <laughs> and slowly whittled down as they, like, got out of the lake and into passageways until you had one guy left trying to get out of the dungeon. He was not one of the people who had one of the maps. So you have this very fun, tense session as he's navigating his way out, trying to go more or less by memory as they as he starts climbing up and getting to places where they've technically been before. And all the people with the maps are just kind of following along and going, okay, he's there, and doing their level best to keep a poker face and not give him information that he shouldn't know. Yeah, there, there are several types of different RPG groups, depending on how the party and the GM Hold want on. to play. Yeah, okay. I mean, you've got hardcore RPG groups, you've got... Uh, I'm here to trash monsters and delve dungeons, which is kind of what we're doing right now. Um, yes. Come here, Stickly! And, you know, the premise on this campaign is, you know, very upfront. You know, town is a thing, uh, not uh, more than a place. It's, it's where you, you do a very abstracted maintenance on things, and you don't really 
worry about what's going on in it. Uh, the same group also uh, does occasionally run AD&D. You know, he's been doing, I think, this the uh, Slave Pit series uh, off and on this year. Okay, we can bail from this place. Oh, if we can get was... around the samurai. Oh, uh -oh. good job! And I got the samurai. Back. Watch your health, watch my health. Thank you, Mr. Tree Branch. I hate, I love you too. Um, okay, are we done here? Maybe. Uh. <laughs> if you want, I can uh, run around a little bit and see if I find another luring. No, no, please no. Just no. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad that didn't happen at 72. Gloom. We're on a level with gloom. I'm trying to think if anything important happened this week or not. I don't think much has. Some, I, mean, I mean... My crafting levels are going up. We've started in on the latest round of uh, crafting uh, implement upgrades. And I got my weekly. No, oh, wheel incoming. Yep, so there is. Got my weekly allergy shot, which continues to stay on schedule, which makes me happy. And of course, you know, we had a good Thanksgiving, and I am on vacation for the next week. Sadly, I am not in vacation from at my parents' place, but, you know. It was just safer. But my Erdin's 44 rematch. <laughs> oh, and I turned Baron on to something that he thought was hilarious. Oh. Tanks for guinea pigs. Oh, yes. Uh, someone out there has put together uh, a little workshop. So he can make effectively these little uh, ply board uh, cut out uh, tank stands that little guinea pigs can hide in and then trundle around in. Because if you've ever had guinea pigs, they love to hide and explore, but they're timid, so they. It's kind of like, I want to go out and play. I can't go out and play. I want to go out and play. So I'm going to hide in this cardboard box like Solid Snake. Thank you. <laughs> Raising. Yay. <clears throat> Raising is good. Okay, now we can go. So he, I turned him onto that, which he then spread throughout the web, and apparently the guy's now getting orders. Because <laughs> they are adorable watching these little guinea pigs trun trundle around inside of uh, tanks. Yeah. And cars and buses. Um, oh yes. Another one of the silly bits from Dungeon Fantastic was, oh, incoming. Wheel, this way. So, so over here. Oh, good grief. Okay. I'm 
not too worried about wheels. They're not wheel of fish. They must die. <laughs> I hope Baron brings home some Groblox. That stuff is so good. <laughs> Fishy! You got that right, Cold Summer. Oh, thanks for fishing me. That's good enough for me. But the uh, one time when um, one of their kind of mid-level characters firing the lightning... No, oh, incoming wheel. Firing the lightning bolts into the melee. Mm-hmm. Oh. There. And, you know, someone else is commenting on the, uh, you're kind of hitting your, your own people in the two melee guys who are kind of higher level. You guys are just, ah, don't worry, don't worry, we like it. <laughs> and that was, uh, that was immediately, uh, labeled Shockholm Syndrome. <laughs> Ooh, Uncle Craggy! Craggy! We've missed you, Uncle Craggy! So, oh, that was one of the big things uh, for FF people, is the live letter dropped on ah. Thursday morning, or Friday morning. Bright and early at 3 a.m. Oh. And yet you stay up for it anyway. I don't know if I can do much more on that. <laughs> Considering that there's several hours. Oh, gosh. It... it Heads all around, and that yep. looks to be a four-corner room. Um. Oh, that's one way to get ahead. <laughs> so, uh, the official date for five point four is now December eighth. Deal 8th, yourself. If I must. Don't have to, but it's <sighs> wise. So, wow. December 8th for the patch. And one of the things that uh, Square Enix has had a problem with Cover me. is that uh, normally at this point in the schedule, they've already announced what the next expansion will be. Yeah. For one and thing, uh, 5.4 is really where they will start doing a lot of the lead-in story for, you know, the major story of the next expansion. But they usually delve this information out over the course of all the fan fests, which none of them have happened this year for obvious reasons. Um, so what they've decided to do is in uh, February 5th, they will be, host be hosting a special presentation uh, that's going to last probably a couple hours. We don't know if the what the presentation will actually involve. I've got a sneaking suspicion it is going to be the actual um, expansion announcement. But they are going to be streaming that at 5 p.m. Pacific, which is not their usual amount of operandus. No. And it will be broadcast in both Japanese and English, which is also not their normal modus operandi. So, yeah, that's going to be something to look forward to and see what they drop on us. Uh, do you think you can get that chest? Um, I can get it. Uh... It's just whether or not, you know, everything in the room attacks me in the process. There. So, things dropping in 5.4. We get, apparently, another huge chunk of story. They're really loving story in this uh, expansion, and um, it's all been good stuff. 
Mm. Um, we are getting more Sorrows of Whirlit, which, uh, Talon, have you started that chain yet or not? Yeah, um, <laughs> you've still got a lot of catch-up to do, but you're slowly getting there, which is awesome. Uh, no, it is not slow at all. Okay, fair enough. I mean, how long did it take for us to go through the similar stuff? Yeah, but we're kind of, I don't know, um, I don't want to say lazy, but uh, we, we definitely take your time enjoying the content. <laughs> more than a lot of people th or slower than a lot of people think we should but that's our problem not ours but yeah we get the third stage of sorrows of warlet uh closely also referred to as the weapon chain um like me we are getting big changes to the monk class yeah We are getting two new deep sea fishing routes. We are getting changes to gathering, specifically for collectibles and ether reduction. In fact, we're getting a whole new UI for that, which is going to be interesting. Um. We're getting some interesting changes to the duty finder, specifically for uh, allowing um, undersized parties to be level synced to the uh, duty in question, which will be awesome. Well, that's why that's going wrong. Eh? Something's wrong? Uh, my cycle for unloading has been a little bit off, and I realized I've been trying to do Scorch. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry. Trying to think, there was uh, several other things we're getting. Um, we're finally getting a weapon display rack for housing. Which is yes. awesome because I have a lot of relic weapons that I don't. I spent a lot of time grinding for that I don't want to just throw away or vendor, and have a replica in my um, glamour chest that just feels wrong. I spent all that effort. I'm not just gonna toss it. So it's on either my inventory or on a retainer's inventory, eating bag space. And I can't show it off. Woohoo, backspace. Yeah. Woohoo, backspace. Backspace is a good thing. Can um, we even get a um, mm? intuition? Mm -mm. Wow. No intuition anywhere. I know, they're chipping on us. Ready for the next floor? Is it ready for us? Reset our progress. No! <laughs> oh, we just did this. Um, we're, of course, getting a new dungeon. We're getting a new trial. Uh, the dungeon is part of the MSQ line. The trial is part of the Tales of Whirlet. Um, they... Oh, we also get the new Wing of Eden. Yes. Eden's Promise. And it should be the final Wing of Eden. Yes. So unless they have some, like, additional story stuff hidden away in 5-5, five, five, that should finish off that bit. Yeah. There will be more, um... Bosja, but it is coming in 5.45. Survey says affluence.
Okay, who's friendly firing? Oh, you're way over there. You okay? Yeah. Do I need to come rescue you? Nope. Um, Blue Mage, the level cap is going up as a uh, 5.45 to level 70. Um, <laughs> Blue is in a really weird state and is not getting better as far as I can tell, but we'll see. Of course, there are going to be exes and savages to all the content that we've talked about. Um, they released the uh, look for the new Eden's Promise gear. Mm. And uh, I will state what the Black Mage, uh, i.e. caster slash healer gear looks like because it's non-spoilerly. Because it's effectively what um, uh, Gaia is wearing. It's very steampunkish. In more of a gothy way. Than the uh Ish than the Neo Ishgardian gear. Oh, I don't want to be there. Thank yes, you. I want <laughs> Come back here, you stupid mimic! Frailty. So I was watching all this, uh, and Tsukige was online at the same time. And it was hilarious because they also talked about a minor change to fishing to try and make it more accessible for newer people. Really? And one of the changes they're doing is there's an ability called Fish Eyes. What it does oh, right. at the moment is let if you have that buff active, you can catch certain fish that you can't catch otherwise. Uh, it's one of the requirements to catch that, that fish in that hole is to have that buff up. They are changing it so that it re what it actually does is remove the time requirement to catch fish. But doesn't work on legendary fish. Ah! <laughs> This is the point where Theron starts going and table flipping. <laughs> yeah, well. Items unavailable. Mm hmm. Joyful. Uh. Oh! Fortune, but we can't use it because items are. Thanks, guys. Yes. Love you too. I haven't said anything. <laughs> we are not fortunate enough. We're not fortunate enough for this. Yep, I know Rosga. Oh yes. We actually um Bronze Ah passage. Yeah, uh host her channel when we're not on and they are. And there is the exit. Let's start killing things and get out of here. Yeah, I like this get out of uh dodge. not active. Wow! Um, this Getting is making us belt. run the gambit, isn't it? Good 
There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> yeah, I made the Seren Fairs. There is actually a very large fair in our area that happens, well, would normally be happening between, um, August to October. And, of course, this year, well, 2020, what can we say? But normally I cannot attend because... It happens in this beautiful location called Casa de Fruta, which is entirely surrounded by oak trees that I'm allergic to. Yeah! Allergies are not my friend. <laughs> you would not be surprised on how much my life has had to change to accommodate my allergies. But at the same time, I'm still here, so that's a good thing. Yeah, really. Raising is good. I like raising. Eh, witching. Yeah, I got that on the way through last time. Oh, hello there. You wanted to say hello. Frailty. Yes, yes, actually we will. after checking this one. Right. And we can bail now guilty. if we want to. Yeah, let's put our heads into the... My, my. Uh, not a four corner, but actually I think I can get that. Do, 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 do. Flight. Okay. That'll come in handy later. Mm-hmm. Time to get a dodge. Oh gosh. Um It's pretty much the, oh, that's why I'm always sick thing happen. <laughs> Is I was having a real long time of the fact that I was literally always sick uh, to the point where I would not leave my bed for weeks on end because I was just so sick I could not get out of bed. And finally we went to a doctor about that back when I had insurance. Um, or back when I had better insurance, I should say. <laughs> True enough. And the doctor went, hmm, you know what? This sounds like allergies. And I was like, what? <laughs> I, I thought that was the thing you'd get, like, a little sniffle in your nose at, um, in the autumn because of, like, hayseed or something. And nope, nope, nope. And then they scratch tested me and went, oh, Wow, you don't have an allergy season. Actually, you have several allergy seasons that they exist back to back. <laughs> I was like, joyful! Fortune. fortune! Yeah, make us fortunate. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> oh, we've got an incoming giant kitty thing. Me? 
I'm not really giant. No, but this guy is. That's not a kitty. I don't know what he is. <laughs> Definitely not a kitty. Uh, he's probably some ancient id thing, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, it screams it monster of the id so much. So, after I got on the shark treatment, I started to get better, and I was like almost human. And then I lost my insurance and had to go off the shark treatment for a year, almost two years, because of a snit between the doctor I was seeing and the medical association wanted me to see a different person who we didn't exactly get off on the right foot with. So, yeah. And then I was bedridden again. Another fortune. We don't... We're already fortunate. Sort of. Maybe. We need to kill things. Possibly. <laughs> but now that that's all straightened out I'm back on the shot treatment and while I'm not doing absolutely stellar I'm not doing bad either And they have been life changing. Mostly, in the, I've had to change a lot of my habits. There we go. Uh, and a lot of things I used to be able to do, I just can't anymore. Um, partially because of allergies directly, partially because of secondary issues that occur because I have allergies. Uh, one of the biggest is, is I can't really go to conventions anymore because uh, my system is so weak from constantly fighting everything that if I try and go to a convention, I am gar guaranteed to be sick as a dog for two weeks following. And that's just no fun. Uh, I, I think the worst one was the last convention I did. Um, I was sick for almost four weeks solid. And then it would bounce around the house and then I'd get sick again. <laughs> and it was nobody's fault. It was just that's how diseases work. another one of those thingly things. In things. Yeah. Isn't he pretty not? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And, and the fact that the convention bugs are getting snarlier and snarlier. Um... Okay, now this room has a giant kitty. Hello, kitty! I would like you as a fur rug! Okay. Want a veil? Pretty much. Make us fortunate. We're already fortunate. No, that was last level. Oh. Fine, I'll kill this guy to see if he drops the chest, and that'll be the end of our fortune. <laughs> no love. Well, part of the reason that a lot of people get sick at conventions is that you've got a lot of people in a very tight space coming from literally all over the world now. Yeah. And. Oh, no auto heal. A lot of people are like, well, I know I've got the sniffles, but I've paid really good money to attend the show, so I'm going despite that. And 
next thing you know, they've infected like tw half the convention floor. And then you get a couple people, and when you're talking a convention of thousands of people, which it's no longer these, uh, this is, uh, we're expecting like 200, maybe 300 turnout would be really fabulous. No, the, you're talking in the thousands now. And all you need is 10% of that thousand. And things get really ugly really quick. We have no auto heal. Yay! Except that. Oh, I'm saying it again. Yay! Or is that yay? Totoro comes out and shakes his tiny fist. Yoshi B! <laughs> um, I remember going to, uh, the, uh, last, um, uh, Crunchyroll Expo. And... Oh, wow. A, a large convention center, and it was packed to the gills. Yeah. You didn't do too badly after that one. <laughs> oh, yes, I'll steal myself. No, that one we actually did pretty good. Part of it is I was wearing a mask. Part of it is we didn't pack in very often to many of the... Uh, Venues. We stayed more to yeah. the dealer's hall, which was a little better spaced out. And we spent a lot of time washing hands. It's amazing how much prevention you can do just by washing your hands. It's like amazing. <laughs> Getting lost several times. Yeah, that's a Ryoga thing. <laughs> uh, we need to kill more things. I'm killing you. Why? Because I can. Yeah, my Ryoga World Tour t-shirt is kind of mostly worn out. I mean, I do miss conventions. I really do miss the interaction. Um, I will also note my income severely dropped when I stopped doing conventions. Yeah. Gee, funny that. This is the uh, beginning room. Have the flag and everything. I can't keep it straight in my head, so I just hug the wall. It's safer that way. The last Crunchyroll Expo was um, where we saw the uh, panel with Kevin Pinkham, which was interesting. Yeah, that was a really good panel. At least two Go -go! Yeah, if you need to sleep, go sleep. Thank you very much yes, for joining us, Ace. Uh, this little stream we do, we do just for kind of giggles. Don't feel obligated that you have to be here all the time. Sleep is more important. Oh look, two Gogus. They were lonely. These are such strange little critters. Well, uh, they're both active. Are you in combat with something? Yeah, I just came out of it. Shall I test one? Sure. Poof! Fake! Okay. Uh, I'm gonna test the next one. You do that. This is right, the real one. 
I will not test this one. Or the one in the quarter. Yeah. Yeah, there, there are... F were four. Yeah. Affluence is next level. Yeah, sure. We'll do an affluence. Poof. And it looks like we've cleared everything out except for that copper. Oh, and there's a gold way over there, which I think you said was a double? I forget what it was. Yeah. Time to bail. <laughs> uh, I am not that far behind Ace. Okay. I'm going this way. You do that. Incoming Dugu. Do, 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 do. I think you can handle them. I see another incoming Dogu. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, he's coming straight for me. More fool him! Ha 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 ha! What the? Uh oh. Do you need help? Yeah. Hope would be good. On my way! I managed to get two at once. Yar! <laughs> Could have probably done it, but it would have taken a bit more doing. Well, we got all handled. Ooh, a silver! Friendly kitty, do you want pets? I can give you back scratches. Oh, look, a cat toy! Woohoo! Yeah, no worries. We admit, a part of our the reason for our stream times is that's just basically when we can break away, but also so we're not directly conflicting with Baron's stream times. Yes. Because that would just be no fun. And we know a lot of the audience overlaps, and the last thing we want to do is uh, try and scrape viewers off of each other. No, 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 that's not what we do. Hello! <laughs> uh. Oh! Hey, he's no longer got his head in the wall! There is that, but you don't want to do that too often. You'll just kind of screw with your mental sleep schedule with all the blue light. Yeah. sleep schedule. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Foxfire Glow. That is awesome. Yes. Items unavailable. Uh, abilities and unavailable. Ability. <laughs> What's her serenities look like? We're at three. Yeah. We just want to blow one. I am very tempted. 
And we finally get a intuition. Okay. That is our first intuition of the night. Yes. Uh... Mimic. Bringing him into the hall. Remember, I cannot interrupt him. Yeah, I know. If we get pox, we get pox. Nope, no pox. No pox for you. No pox for me. You have no pox. Have no pox today. I have none too. <laughs> I can't believe I remember that song, Jingle. <laughs> it probably came from the Toxic Jingle Generator. It did! Oh. Now, there is something that deserves Strength. to be better known. Uh, Gremlin and Trouble? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to kill things. Yes? I say we shall kill you! I also need to get around to rereading it. Try and avoid the kitty if you can. Because I cannot stun him. Yeah. Now we can probably kill him fast enough, but... I don't want to take the chance if we don't have to. Of course, he's standing by the water cooler. Yay! We might just have to... Perfect. Oh! Step away. Fine. Let it explode in my face. Let's see if I care. My face actually would have been my face. Yeah, but I was like right next to you. Yeah, so. very little actually um. no why did you push me away I don't have jump back yeah I've had very little rhythm in my life sleep wise it's just kind of we deal with it. That's the best we can say. minutes to finish? Yep. Think you uh, think we'll make it? I don't know, might be kind of difficult. <laughs> you have for one more floor set or are you wanting to crash? Mm. Let's try it. Okie dokie. And no horde. <sighs> We're not going to get any sparklers this time around, are we? Not at this rate. Yep, 
Yeah, my current sleep schedule is like about 5 a.m. to about 2 to 3 p.m. And Longer I'm just... Longer if I let it. I'm just not getting enough sleep. I can totally feel it. Yeah, if we can get through 450, we got... We can do a lot of damage next week, that's for sure. That's the hope. Big Z! Come here, Big Z! Switching. And a Dora with a dunce cap is hitting in the corner. Hello, Big Z! God, these guys are so great. <laughs> Gollum mm. with a friggin' on its top. apparently and yeah two of them armor unchanged safety feel safe yet uh maybe Kinda, sort of, maybe? Boom. The fact that I don't need the icon or the announcement coming up to know that it's gloom. Yeah, you can just hear it. No, because that same sound can be different things. No, you just look around and you see the atmosphere effect and you, you know, that's it's cool. gloom. Yeah. Uh, eh, bronze. It is a copper. Yeah. Fortunate. Yeah, sure. I feel fortunate. Possibly. It's a big Z! Might want to get that. Okay, you did. Never mind. My eyes are bad. You knew that. Wow. No. You should be able to get it now. Knock on wood. Steel. Yes, please and thank you. Bixie incoming. You're dealing with the big Z? Trying to. Okay. Thank goodness that worked. Okay. Purity. Hey, Gerdwin! I assume <laughs> Baron has and Dave is tootalolling out and headed home. Inferno. Ooh, we've got one of each magicite. Awesome! One of each normal magicite. <laughs> kind of missing the odor. <laughs> fortunate. Are we already fortunate? We're already fortunate. We are already fortunate. Yeah, we, we could really deal with a Grandpa Odin right about now. 
Well, not right about now, but in about, you know, 30 levels. <laughs> that is awesome to hear, Cairdwin. <laughs> uh, yeah, we finally got back and realized we actually did leave the cookies at your place. Sorry! I thought everyone had them, but no. Okay, you get a good night's sleep, Cold. Thank you very much for joining us. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Ooh, no, no, no. Items unavailable. <laughs> I agree. This one is affluence. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> they're gonna pop up intuition on us, aren't they? Yeah, that'd be fine. I think we're still only at one or two. I think we are at one. Yeah. One intuition. Which is meh. Fortune. Oi. <sighs> okay, Dara. Come play with me. Well, it sounds like you guys had an excellent stream tonight, Cairdwin. That is mm -hmm. awesome to hear. I am so glad that you guys were able to raise that amount for Second Harvest. <sighs> yeah. I'm not liking these choices for polls. Pull on change. I assume you can get out of there safely? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be a fall. Oh, wow. You actually got matching funds for that? Oh. Holy moly! That is freaking awesome! Ready to leave. Mostly. Well, this, this guy was just in a really bad position. That's the mostly. But yeah, congrats. Mm hmm. 4,330 doubled. <laughs> wow, I did not think I'd go by him. That's going to be a lot of meals on the pantry. New music. Ah, very and serious. New gloom. I've always liked this piece of music. Oh yeah. Yeah, after you take it, care of all the uh, money handling commissions, yeah. Second intuition. Purity. Yep. Farewell, Mr. Stompy. You can go that way. We're going this way. Ah, I see I your brother Stompy. here. They're twins, aren't they? No, it's more like, you know, say, Nurse Joy. Cousin, sister's brother's wife? Hell, vaguely related, but yeah, they all look alike. Welcome home, dear. 
I see, uh, Cardwin, your uh, truck just delivered Serenity. a husband. That's pretty awesome. That was what? Serenity? Serenity. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Get rid of the blue. Much healthier. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of meals on the table. Uh, turns out Baron and I actually know someone who is actually on the Second Harvest Food Program. And it's awesome that I know that we know people who are directly affected. Intuition? In the fact, three. It, it's not awesome that she's directly affected, but it's awesome that she's able to get the help she needs. Yeah, yeah, exactly, dear. Drinking myself. Exactly. Um, I don't know if you've actually met her. You might have cared when. Uh, do you remember meeting a lady by the name of Maureen Starkey? Uh, artist of a lot of Judges Guild stuff. Um, she also worked at Activision when um, Activision was a very small thing and doing the D&D gold boxes. Uh, she worked in the game design for ages and ages and ages. But unfortunately she's at that age now that even though she has this long list of and CV of this is all the stuff I've done and worked on and I would be a great addition to your team. They look at her gray hair and go, nope, we don't want to hire you. She has effectively been out of work for several years now um, and currently divorced. So she gets no secondary income from a spouse. Um, and she is just, I believe she's also getting housing assistance. Oh, fortune. We can use fortune. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's a real problem and it really hurts that someone of her talent and her expertise is just getting put by the wayside because she she wasn't able to transition into more of a management position. This should sound familiar. Yes, it Fight. is. Um, it's gotten better over the years, but depending on the video game company, yeah, it is very yeah. male, young male dominated. And that's also shown in the type of things it produces. Yes. Yeah, Wright is one of the worst. Um, there's been serious issues there. Um, Blizzard waffles. Unfortunately, we've got fortune is already running. running. Yeah, and EA is, um, they started off with the right idea, but really kind of went downhill over the course. And they... EA was kind of on par with, um, yeah, I'll steal myself. Steal yourself. Was kind of on par with 3DO, which is where I ended up with after a couple of the company merges. Yeah, Cyclone got rolled into 3DO. Cyclone was actually a pretty decent place, despite um, its leadership. <laughs> Renity, we don't care. Uh. 
So we've got in that chest. Alteration. Ooh. I think uh, Mr. Craggy wants to come along. Certainly volunteering. Yeah, the the company actually um well the system itself didn't survive. The company did for a lot uh, quite some time afterwards, um, despite itself. Partially because uh, during the console era, they acquired another game company which had a couple of really serious properties to it. And that being New World Drink Computing. Yourself. Yeah. No, strength yourself. Or did you already? Strike? I'm already running. Okay, strengthening. Because they had the whole Might and Magic chain. Um, both the yep. Heroes of Might and Magic, which was the RPG, and the um, Might and Magic itself, which was actually tactical. Well, uh, Might and Magic is tactical. Heroes is the... Uh, uh, Heroes is the RPG, yeah. Uh, 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 I tried to correct you and set it backwards myself. <laughs> Might and Magic is the RPG series. Heroes of Might and Magic is the strategy game series. Uh, of course, one of the other things that technically would have come along in that is at the time, New World Computing owned Task Force Games. Yeah. Um, and also in there, they actually produced one of the first MMOs. Uh, people debate whether it was the first MMORPG, but at that point, the debate is like splitting hairs, and that was Meridian 39. It was 59? Uh, that was 39, but... Ooh, let's see if we can sneak around here. As a 9, uh, at any rate. Yeah, Meridian. Um, and that one did really well. It showed that it as had a potential for a much larger audience. Yeah, Meridian 59. Uh, that was actually 3DO. I think he might have? Frailty. Oh, yeah, I like Frailty. Frailty's good. Uh, especially when we have to deworm the place and there looks to be a four-corner room next to us. Woohoo! Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. we're gonna... This is starting to look like a five-corner room. Damn. So that's why 3DO was able to ha hang on as long as it did, despite the fact that it's just effectively being a sweatshop, turning out games that the people who were working on them wouldn't want to play. Um, then they tried to create Cyclone, which was supposed to be like their AAA division for games. Um, and it Cyclone had a lot of really good ideas, but was hampered by bad leadership at the top, which ended up resulting in the companies being merged to try and avoid an RIAA lawsuit. So yeah, it was a tangled web. I actually did enjoy my time at Cyclone, um, mostly because I really enjoyed the team I worked with, but it was really sad over the years on working on the same project, watching it literally bleed people because they couldn't deal with the company leadership, and they felt... Um, Worm. They felt that it was better for their own sanity to leave the company than to try and work something out. Uh, if that tells you how bad the rot was. That's the exit. Um, in this case, um, Caridwin, they were fully within their rights to do what they did. Uh, the RIAA. Um, yeah. It was that bad. 
This is one where I would actually have, I actually supported them because it's like, wow. Um, we won't exactly go into the full of it, but yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. <laughs> He's throwing things at me. Uh, was Throw there anything the in that treasure trust or have I you have not that far yet. <laughs> I had a feeling. Oh look, a worm. Steal. Steal yourself. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, I interviewed in several places. I was at after I left the video, uh, I actually left of my own terms before they completely fell apart. Um, the one place I actually got hired on, we had everything but the paperwork signed, and a week after uh, they interviewed me, they folded. <laughs> Which one was that? <laughs> Uh, it was a small little company that was effectively uh, all female gamers creating games for the female market. Right. Worm. And they had already done a couple things for the Barbie property and had actually gotten mm. awards for it. But uh, the funding effectively and fell worm. through at the last minute. Not an uncommon tale. Yeah. It, it, when I heard about what happened, I was sad, but yeah. It was like, okay, yeah, that's a thing that happened. Let's move on. Um, Mimic. But games is a really rough one, and while there are still a lot of game studios here in the Bay Area, a lot of them have moved out. Or folded. Uh, it, it's a very volatile business and companies come and go... <gasps> Elder Magicite. Okay. Fortune! Cousin If. Well, Odin, nice to see you again. Oh, Grandpa Odin, how we've missed you. Now we just need to find the exit. <laughs> and or two other Odins. Uh, exit is up here, but we might want to check for chests in other locations. I did pop a fortune. True. By the way, we're on floor 50, 49. 49, yep. We are nearly done. It's like... Uh, I'm trying to remember, did I actually ever submit my uh, resume to Telltale? They might have been too far out of my range because they they were deep in the city. Yeah, I don't think you did Mimic. Frailty. Frailty! Coming your way as fast as I can. He's down. Okay. Are you poxed? No. Amazingly. Blink blink. We're not quite sure how I killed him in time. <laughs> yeah, I, I know I, how I got the previous one, but that one I was not set up for. Serenity. No. I was like, wait, what? Uh, you killed it by yourself and not poxed? Um, burrito? <laughs> yeah, he just kind of went from half health to dead, and I'm going, I didn't hit him that hard. Oh, oh! The hilarity of the live letter. So, they it, they were showing off some new emotes that are going to be available in-game. Uh, they've got one right now, which is eating bread. You pull out a little roll, and you start munching on it. But they're adding a couple new ones of that variety. And they showed off one, which was a onigiri rice ball. And suddenly the Twitch chat up lit up with oh, jelly no. donuts! Yes! <laughs> I 
fucking like oh, know, an entire coming. like minute and a half scroll of jelly donuts. Mm, my favorite. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I wonder if any of the Japanese people are, are like, what are they talking what about? The heck they're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was, like, total amusement. Hello, Gozu! We're here for the weekly beating of your life. Uh. And, of course, right now the um, Japanese team just cannot help make but make Gundam jokes over the entire Weapon Chain series. Look away! Managed to get it all off and look away. Yeah, I think they're starting to get the idea that, yes, we silly Americans do actually pay attention to the live streams, even though we can't understand a word they're saying. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the other one, was the Great Wall of Lahi. <laughs> yeah, that was a couple of live levels of letters ago. Look away! Oh, thank you. I got kind of placed. McWay. Yeah, I think another one of the eating emotes was like a, a, a simple sandwich. Yeah. Quite get far enough away from that one. My bad. Yeah, that is. Uh, beam on you. That is a fortune thing about many boss fights, and it's not just here. <laughs> About 11 just after so actually really good timing and we got no horde no boo we did 30 even... levels and no no horde. horde we didn't even get complimentary sparklers i am so disappointed <laughs> but we're in a really good position to start next week mm -hmm. um Actually, in the middle of the fight, I was just thinking how this particular boss used to be really difficult for us. And it would take really almost yes. three weeks for us to get to him. And we're yeah. doing it, what, in a night now? Yeah. So, yeah, I think we are improving skill-wise. We're just being kind of slow about it. <laughs> uh, such is the way of things. So next week we start on floor 61? 61. No, 51. 51? Okay, yeah. Yeah, 51. we went 21 to 50. So we'll be doing presumably 51 to 70 next week. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah. 51 to 70, knock on wood. If all goes well. Mm-hmm. Fly, Ursa, fly! She's got a headwind going. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, I'm trying Tomorrow to... evening will be Bun Buns. Yep, we will continue the saga of the Bun Buns. Uh, they are currently... Oh, they found Sid. Yes. And they're trying to figure out where his airship disappeared to. Because yeah, we need his airship to get past Garuda's um, w Vortex. Or Tempest? It'd be Vortex. Yeah, it'd be Vortex. I think they use the term Vortex. Yeah, Tempest is usually water. Vortex is usually air. Which means we're going to be hitting Corthus soon. Yeah. I... If not tomorrow night. I'm going to need to get on with Kirguna. We'll do that over the course of this coming week. Probably. Oh, but before we do that, I think we have some class quests to do. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. We were up to job quests. Yes, job quests. All the job stories all the time. <laughs> well, thank you all very much for joining us. We hope you had a wonderful evening. It was kind of mm -hmm. a relaxo run for us, as it were. <laughs> now, if Ops will come up... Obs is taking its sweet time. I have to actually have Obs collapsed because, well, you wouldn't see it on your end because uh, the processor pushes the stuff out properly. If I have Obs up on my system on one monitor and I'm playing on the other, I start getting this visual stutter, not because of the video card or the feed, but because of the refresh rate between the two monitors. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's usually not that much of an issue, so once I collapse it, it just plays fine. Yep. Any case, thank you very much for joining us. We really hope to see you tomorrow night for the bun story hour for the bun buns. If not, you guys get a really good night's sleep, and all those who attended and enjoyed Baron's stream, thank, thank you, you very much for yeah. the donations to the Second Harvest Food Bank. It's awesome to see the community come together to help make sure people get fed so they don't have to worry about food in this absolutely crazy time we're living in. I was kind of wondering if Baron was still up, and now I know, yep, he is. Yep, he's still up. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Say goodnight, Baron. Good night. <laughs> Good night, all. See you guys tomorrow. Yes, everyone, have a great night. <laughs>